Hi everyone, welcome to another crochet tutorial with me Laura and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this stitch here. Now this stitch is a stitch that I've come up with, it probably exists somewhere, it's kind of like a cross between the arcade stitch and a mesh stitch, um, so I'm just going to call it like a mesh arcade stitch. <laughs> um, but if you know the exact name for this stitch then do let me know in the comments below because like I always say it probably exists out in the world somewhere. So this stitch is a lovely stitch uh, that works up into a triangle format so it's really good for making a shawl. So uh, but this this um, this yarn is quite lacy so I'm going to change it to a slightly more obvious yarn so you can see it better on camera and uh, yeah so let's begin. So you can use any yarn for this project. I happen to be using um, kind of like a full play yarn or a DK light worsted weight yarn, I'm not sure what this is. Um, but with that I'm using a four millimeter G crochet hook. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off by chaining six. So we're going to do a little slip knot first and then we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're going to chain six. And if you're new to crochet, then do check out my beginner tutorials for the chaining and other beginner stitches, and then come back to this tutorial. It won't seem so fast for you guys. So once you've done your chain six, we're going to do one double crochet in our first chain. So this pattern's in US terminology. So in UK terminology, that's going to be a treble. So we're going to yarn over, find our first chain, put our hook into there, and do a double crochet. Okay, so that's the very beginning of our shawl in the making. So then what we're going to do is we're going to chain six again. So chain one two, three, four, five and six. We're always going to chain six at the beginning of every row. Then we're going to do a three double crochet cluster. So to do that what we're going to do, first of all we're going to turn our work, so making sure that your tail ends at the bottom. We're going to yarn over and we're going to go into this six chain space. So go into there, bring the yarn through, then just yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, might want to move it over a bit. We're going to stop there. We're going to yarn over again and go back into the six chain space. Bring the yarn through, then yarn over, pull through two again. Stop. We're going to do that one more time. Yarn over into the six chain space. Bring the yarn through. Yarn over, pull through two. And you end up with four loops. We're going to yarn over, pull through all four loops. And that does our little three double crochet cluster. Then we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And we're going to do that again. So we're going to yarn over, go back into the six chain space, bring the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two. Stop, yarn over, into there again, pull through two, and do that one more time, yarn over, into the six chain space again, pull through two, end up with four loops, yarn over, pull through all four loops, and just squish your project over. Then we're going to chain three again, one, two, and three, and do that, another three double crochet cluster. So back into there again, pull through two, yarn over, tail end out the way, pull through two, one more time, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over, pull through all four loops. Okay, and then we're going to finish up by chaining three, one, two and three, and doing one double crochet in that six chain space as well just one double crochet. Okay so that is the end of our very first row and we've got our first little fan shape of three lots of three double crochet clusters. Now we're going to do a slightly different row and we're going to chain six to begin. So we always chain six at the beginning no matter what row we're doing. Five and six and turn your work making sure your tail ends at the bottom and what we're going to do is we're going to skip this first three chains. We're going to skip 
these three chains and find this three chain space here and in there we're going to do a single crochet or in UK terminology a double crochet then we're going to chain six one two three four five and six and we're going to go into the next three chain space and do a single crochet in there okay so you end up with this big loop and then we're going to finish up by chaining three one two three and doing a double crochet in this last six chain space on the end double crochet in there okay so we don't chain six we chain three so there we go, it should look something like that. You should have these three loops, two and three. Then we're going to do another set of fans. This time we're going to have two lots of fans, we see on here. We have start off with, it's a bit dark in the purple, we've got the three there, and now we're going to do two. And then it's three, and then it's four, and so on. So what we're going to do so we're going to chain six. So if you always forget what to do at the beginning, just remember to chain six, and then hopefully you'll remember what to do then. Three, four, five, and six. Turn your work, and we're going to work our first set of three lots of three double crochet clusters in this space here, in this three chain space here. So we're going to yarn over and go into this first gap. I'm not going to skip it this time, and pull through two. Then yarn over back in there again, pull through two, yarn over back into it there again, and pull through two, yarn over, pull through all loops. Okay, so you've done a three double crochet cluster in there. Then we're going to chain three, one, two, three. So we chain three in between our clusters, but here we chain six. Do another three double crochet cluster in the same space. So pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, pull through all four loops to finish. Do one more, so chain three, two and three, and do another cluster in the same space. Pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through all loops to finish. Okay, so that's your third three double crochet cluster. Then we're going to do a single crochet in this big six chain space in the middle. So going into there, we're just gonna do a single crochet straight away, no chains in between. Then we're gonna go straight into a three double crochet cluster in this last six chain space. So go into there, Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through all loops. Okay, I want to bunch everything over a bit. So we don't chain in between that single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, and do that again in the same space. Two, lots more. Through two, pull through all four loops, bunch everything over. Chain three, one, two, three. So don't forget to chain three in between. And then one more three double crochet cluster. And to finish up, we always finish up on every row with chain three, one double crochet in the same six chain space as all those clusters. Okay, so it looks like this. Ta -da! And we just basically repeat those last two patterns, those last two rows, the cluster row and the chaining row. So now we would do a chaining row and again, we start off with a chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And when we do a chaining row, we always skip the first three chain space. So we skip that space and we're gonna do a single crochet 
in the next three chain space. Okay, so whenever you're doing a chaining row, we skip that first chain space. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. S do a single crochet in the next three chain space. Okay, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then do a single crochet in the next three chain space, which is going to be all the way over here. So we're not going to do anything in that single crochet or anything. We want to get, reach all the way over here to our next cluster. Do a single crochet in there. Okay, so you end up with quite a big gap in the middle. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Single crochet in the next three chain space. But when you get to the end, we've only got one left, we only chain three at the end. So we chain three, two, three, and then do a double crochet in that last six chain space. So it sort of ends up being the same length as a chain six. Okay, so it's like that. So we skip the first one, single crochet in there, single crochet in there, all the way over here, single crochet, single crochet, and then end on a double crochet. So that's our chaining row. So then we need to go back to doing our cluster row. So we always chain six at the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six. But this time we don't skip the first three chain space. We need to do our first lot of clusters in there. So this very first space, do a three double crochet cluster. And next one, three, pull through all loops and bunch it over and then chain three and do another one in the same space. And then one more, chain three, always remember to chain three. One more cluster. There we go. But then we don't do any chains. What we're going to do is find this big six chain space here and do a single crochet in there straight away. And then yarn over, no chains, go straight into the next six chain space and do a three double crochet cluster. those over, chain three, do another cluster in the same space, punch those over, one more, chain three, So you've done three lots of three double crochet clusters and when you've done that we find our next six chain space and just do a single crochet in there straight away. That takes you all the way up to the end and we're going to do three more three double crochet clusters in there. Chain three, do another one, chain three, and do one more cluster. Then we always finish up on every row with a chain three, 
three and one double crochet in the same six chain space just double crochet in there or a treble in UK terminology and there we go there is our I put this down here there is our next cluster row so you just repeat those two patterns so all you do now is go back to a chaining row if I can get my hook in and uh, again we start off with a chain six one two three four five and six and if you remember with a chaining row we skip that first three chain space I'm going to do a single crochet in the next one the next three chain space then we chain six one two three four five six single crochet in the next three chain space and repeat that all the way across chaining six three five and six single crochet in the next three chain space which is all the way over here three chain space three four five and six and so our second to last three chain space and then when before you get to the last one we don't chain six we just chain three two three and we do a one double crochet in there instead so it's always the same for the chaining row nice and easy you just need to remember to skip that one at the beginning but then we move on to doing our little cluster rows and this time we're going to do four so we did three last time now we're going to do four and we always start off with a chain six three four five and six but this time we don't skip the first three chain space we need to work three lots of three double crochet clusters in there with chain threes in between. Okay, two and three. Just repeat the same pattern. Chain three, another cluster. And I'll stick the written version of this maybe even with a little chart design as well on my website happyberry.co.uk under the, the um, stitch library if that helps you guys just let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do that and I will make it happen okay so once we've done that all we need to do is find our six chain space we don't do any more chains after that we go straight into there and do a single crochet we're double crocheting UK terminology then we go no chainy we go straight into the next one with a three double crochet cluster and carry on the pattern watching those over chain three another cluster So I think for now, because this is like a cross between a mesh stitch and a the sort of arcade stitch, I think I might call it lace arcade stitch until I can figure out what it, if it actually has a name. I've given up trying to just find names for stitches. <laughs> I just want to design stitches and share them. Okay, and then after the third one, we go straight into this six chain space and do a single crochet, and then straight into the next six chain space with a cluster. three 
because although I like inventing stitches, I use the term inventing very loosely because obviously these stitches have probably been created at some point in the past before and given a name, but there are so many different stitches out there and combinations of stitches to make patterns that it's almost impossible to try and find an exact name for certain things unless it's quite a simple one. So sometimes it can be a variation of a stitch. Okay, one, two, three, and then single crochet in there. And then we're at the end, so we do straight into a cluster. Just the same pattern. Two and three. One more. Cluster. Two and three. One chain three. Let's remember to chain three. Then another cluster, last cluster. And then when you're at the very end, after your last cluster, you've got no more space. We are going to just finish up with a chain three. One, two, three, and a double crochet in the same six chain space. A treble in UK terminology. And there we go, that's just the same pattern again. But this time you've ended up creating four of these three double crochet clusters. And that's it. And you can just keep repeating that, those two rows, the chaining row, where we do six chains, and then the cluster row, you keep repeating that same pattern and it will just grow nice and symmetrically, hopefully. And because uh, this yarn is slightly thicker than this yarn, so it should work with most yarns. So hopefully that will turn into a lovely shawl. So I'm gonna keep going with this yarn. This yarn is an absolutely huge ball of yarn. This is what I picked up recently on a yarn shopping trip. One of the first ones I've done in a very long time. I uh, treated myself to this color. And I'm just gonna keep going with this stitch and see how big I can make this shawl. It's a beautiful shawl pattern. And that's all you need to do to make the shawl is keep repeating those two rows. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Hope you managed to follow along. Hope it makes sense. Hopefully you'll give it a try and uh, I'll see you soon for some more crochet fun. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I share extra giveaways and uh, ask you questions and show you like things in my daily life and, and things like that. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and click like if you like this video and click that notification button so you get notified of when all my tutorials come out so you don't miss one. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon for some more crochet fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye guys.